uh, anonymous asks yeah we, we had someone they're not their name is anonymous but no um but they ask i'm currently in design school i never took art classes in high school and now i'm trying to make up for my lack of sketching experience any advice for better line work perspective lighting any stories uh about you guys uh struggling in design school okay so so this person didn't do much art in high school or when they're younger but now they're in design school i don't know if i could i mean me i i personally did a ton of art in like elementary and high school right i don't know about you james yeah did you do i had i did the art major in high school okay uh oh, but no. <laughs> but i was i was a total so it didn't it didn't help you when i you i did not i was not a good student okay in but uh, yeah i the one thing i will say is like perspective line work lighting if you know if you understand how things like you understand the basics of these sketching tools it just takes practice like don't get discouraged because you just have to work on it for a whole year or two right like you never like when you learn perspective you're not just going to learn perspective and then start drawing 100 percent perspective drawings like right it just takes time and practice yeah that's my best that's my best advice i know that's not the advice that everyone wants to hear but it's just practice you know yeah it's interesting because i actually found that my experience with drawing and with art classes like had been almost a like almost a detriment to my ability to take up design sketching because I came into it thinking like I understood perspective and I understood like how to like how to draw and right. how to communicate and it's just it's a totally it's a very different form of drawing which is completely about communication for sure and um I mean even though I had taken art classes and everything I like I took every sketching exercise that we were given very seriously. And like, I, I think I've told the story before, but we had to fill out, we had to do 500 pages of sketching exercises for our first semester of design sketching, which was just like parallel lines. And I would come in every night and do 10 pages. Like yeah. a lot of people were at the end of the semester <laughs> trying to like do 500 in one night. And James, you're the smart one. And I was, you know, I was just like, I'm going to do this. Like I, like I felt very fortunate to have found the major that I had always been looking for. And so I was, I was enthusiastic to just get into it. And I think like, like any, you know, just, just, it's a daily practice. It's a muscle that you have to develop. It's like, it's like running a marathon. Yeah. It's just like working out or, I, I agree. It's like, you're not going to, like, if you wanted to get muscle, like if you want to get buff, yeah, right, you're not going to go learn how to get buff and then say, hey, I'm buff now. Or, <laughs> or hey, why aren't I buff? I learned how to get buff. Right. You got to just do it. Like, you got to work on it. Yeah. And once you, once you start to make gains, you, you don't, you don't just like. You gains just, with, gains with a Z? Yeah. Once you start to get swole, you don't just like. You don't just swell on your own. You have to keep going. Right. You have to keep. Right. You have to keep. Uh, keep at it. And so, I think it's just a daily exercise. Like if it's something that you are really passionate about developing for yourself, like this is a routine that you need to put, like build into your daily life. And I've talked about it a lot, but I'm a big advocate for continuous line sketching, especially because I think it's about observation and um i think it's a good way because continuous line sketching is sloppy in its in like in its essence and i think that one thing that holds back a lot of design students is they are so afraid of putting down the wrong line oh that's kind of interesting i i will say one thing about that is that in order to go in order to be sloppy but good i think you have to be good first you know how you know how picasso's paintings look like a bunch of like strokes and random cubes and you're thinking to yourself well i could do that this is just a, <laughs> like this is like a three-year-old can do this right well 
uh, what a lot of people don't know is that Picasso was actually an amazing painter before this. Mm-hmm. He could paint really realistic faces and portraits and landscapes and all these things. And at a certain point, he's like, well, why do I have to paint these realistic? Why can't I expand my horizons and communicate the same information, maybe even, you know, an improved emotional information? But I think what you don't get from that history is the struggle he went through to get to mastery. Yeah. So I I, I feel like there's there is beginner sloppiness up until mastery and right. then there's the like beyond mastery is the point where you can start breaking the rules right and where you can do sloppy Again. like the right way exactly so uh like i just i think that the blank sheet of paper can be so intimidating for be for beginner design sketchers and i remember joe ballet the guy who taught reed and i and our class the form families he did a sketch demo where the first thing he did was to scribble onto the page. And he said, like, the page is not, like, don't treat it like it's pure, basically. <laughs> just I like, love that. I love you that. Know? So I, I would say, like, just just jump into it. Start rough and refine. Yeah. Well, thanks for sending that in. That was a good question. 